Crash into eternity. Witness Kempo Obieke shared his thoughts about the recent crash of a Nigerian billionaire banker, um, Abbas Wigwe. And uh, I will read it to you. I've done a video. This is an update because um, a lot of things is coming up. People are coming out to talk. A lot of people that know him. Uh, but they judge. Pa, but they judge has spoken as well. Allegation is coming here and there. I told you about the anonymous. I received the information about the anonymous. I cannot put it out there. And um, they told him they are going to take him out. And there was an instruction to take him out with his family. So they were waiting for the opportunity to take him out. And he actually provided them with the opportunity. Because he traveled with his wife and his son to watch a football, uh, to watch a uh, super ego. And uh, when they say they want to take you out, maybe he thought... They will come to his house, so he must have barricaded himself with security and everything. Maybe he didn't know the way how they are going to do it, but they told him, I have the, uh, the, the information. And um, once they told you, and they told him the reason why is based on the business transactions, how he built his wealth and everything, because one thing about, about, about human beings, if, the, if you cheated them and they didn't know, the time they will now wake up to realize that, ah, we've been robbed, we've been cheated, they will look for you. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying about all these pastors collecting people's money and all that, land, property, and the people are now waking up and there are any causes on them, on their generation. God's work so, he works so. When human being is asking God to, to avenge them, to avenge them according to his word, it will happen no. If you say cause does not work, you are wasting your time. If you think you are doing something and you can use philanthropists to cover up or whatever, you are wasting your time oh. Human beings are very powerful. Human beings are spirits. Anyway, let me read it for you. Ah, he said, good morning. This person sent me a message. Good morning, sir. The man in that picture is just dead in helicopter crash alongside, alongside his wife and son. That video display, one of the property he left behind. I believe... Our daddy in the Lord may be interested to use it to pass messages to those who lay up treasures on, on earth. When God requires our soul, all will be left behind as we embrace eternity. God bless you, sir. Then he goes on. Then um, this message is not to make mockery of the dead, but to help the living to learn. First and foremost, he said, may the soul of the departed rest in peace. No, we do not pray for the dead. Ah, pastors should know this. Everyone say, may the soul of the, of the departed rest in peace. It's too late. You don't pray for the dead. No, go and read your Bible, all you Christians. And may God give the people they left behind the fortitude to bear their passing so suddenly Death is not a big deal. It is exit into the main life in eternity, whether in heaven, the place of comfort, or air fire, the place of torments. Yeah, I agree with the, with the prayer for his old age parent. His father is 90 years, 90 years old. His mother too. I think she's close to 90 years as well. So I uh, pray this same prayer for them, for his daughter and uh, his two younger children. They are around, uh, I think, uh, seven and five or something. Ah, may God have mercy. Anyway, let's read on. While having the urge to drive home, a message 
through this recent accidental sudden death happening happenings. My attention was drawn yesterday, yesterday morning to my WhatsApp page to the above post sent to me by someone I don't know at all. People are forwarding messages to all the um, to all the speakers because they want us to put the truth out there. And we are trying our best to 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 enlighten people, to educate people, to let people know that this world is not in no, is not in no. We have to focus on eternity and live right. Have a connection with your maker. Do the right thing. You cannot bribe God with worship and with philanthropies. It doesn't work like that. Let's read on. The one that looks most painful seems to be that of the billionaire banker and the wife with their son, including other individuals, only one person. So four of them perished anyway. According to the story, the helicopter taking them to watch Super Bowl in America crashed, killing the occupants. What was in their minds when it was ob ob obvious the crash was into eternity? This man, they said, has built suppos supposedly the best university in Africa, a world class. His residential building in Lagos, Nigeria, is far from being called a mansion. It is a community. The estimate, the, the estimate they say is worth more than 10 billion naira. The church edifice that they said it was pioneer to the building for one of the biggest churches in Nigeria, uh, that city of Davis, RCCG. Africa and the world is and the world is classical. Its financial support directly and indirectly to this particular church that has its branches all over the world stands out according as length. The way he made his money, that's where I'm going now. That's why I'm doing this video. The way he made his money in the banking sector is another story. And there are terrible allegations surrounding the whole thing as usual and well known of Nigeria and uh, corruption. He was too stupendously rich, they said. But how much is eternity? He has gone with the wife, son, and all these are left behind. How much is eternity? I ask again. Where are they now? Especially with the way our modern churches focuses on vanity, not eternity. All the daddy geos come here, especially Adiboye. When he asks for one billion offering, Mr. Wigwe was the, was the among of the five people that came to give him one billion naira offering. They thought that we that we hand them a protection. Nala yo, nala yo, it will not hand you a protection. Is the is your is is your commitment with the God Almighty? Is your obedience to the with to the God Almighty? That's that is is your obedience, your connection. So, to the God Almighty, that is what will hand you safety, protection, and we guarantee you eternity. Not giving to your daddy geos. They are rogues, they are thieves. They are the ones that corrupted our nation, our world, and encouraging people that want to be dubious, to be going to dubious, dubious activity, dubious uh, business uh, activities. Let's read up. Dear reader, eternity is staring you at the face now, whether you like it or not, no matter who you are. Don't be crazy about vain glory. These people you are reading about never knew they were going to crash into eternity the way they did. Wealth, riches, influence, 
half less, and the rest and the rest didn't save them from that crash into eternity. Philanthropists didn't save them. Oh, let's read on. His pastor didn't see this crash and prevent their crash into eternity, despite, despite his cash. If you are able to see the video of the residential building of this man said to be opened late last year, fully digitalized, that they have just left behind. You will really wonder about so many things concerning this life on earth. This world is not our home. Oyakilome say the world is his own and his congregation believe it. So, uh, Pastor Ken Paul says it's not our home. I believe that. We don't own this world. We have our home with our Lord. Our mansion is there. Don't build any mansion here. Just build your relationship with your maker. Be nice to people. Be honest to people. Oh, oh no man anything but love. Secure your boarding pass into eternity and never be distracted by, vanity, by vanities. This is why we cry for the modern church that had divorced Christ and marry the world, but still using his name and the Bible to deceive the foolish. Where are these souls? Did this man remember the bank account that didn't count while crashing into eternity? I made it clear that this is not to mock the dead, no, but to open the eyes of the living to live with eternity at heart. Everyone will leave this head one day, not known. How ready are you to meet your maker? Are you ready? Anyway, let's read on. One of the scriptures that humbles me every time and must, and must humble you, except you are not well, where it says, that every man's work shall be tested by fire. You can see that it is not only about you thinking you have achieved so much or the way people are hailing you, but about your work, standing the acid test of God's fire. To know the stuff it is made of, know it that not every good work is good before God and will be rewarded. The path you workers of iniquity, I never knew you might be waiting for you, no matter who you are, but this message can help you. It is not what people or you think, but what God knows, motives and intentions of heart, purpose and what have you and what have you are some, some elements that will come to play on that day. Many of us do things in the name of Jesus, but not actually for Jesus. You that is taking the glory of God in any way, know in that, know it that you cannot touch God's glory and go free. Men have turned you to assistant God. Adeboye, are you listening now? And you are okay. Big foolishness. You that worship men and make them rob God his glory. I pity you. Me too. That's my message to them all the time. One of them even sent me a message under the um, video I done about Adeboye. Exposing Adeboye. He said, fear God. Don't you kill the wrath of God upon your head? Hey, I said, you still believe in corrupt uh, anointing, which anointed. And uh, another one say, you are obsessed with Chris Oyakilome. Okay, oh. are you listening now? Are you listening now? Anyway, let's read on. Four people were said to have died during the tension, soaked 
match Nigeria played with South Africa during AFCON. They crashed into eternity just like that, watching football. One of them, who was said to be another billionaire businessman in every coast, the place of the tournament, died right at the field there where, where Nigeria's goal was, was concealed and penalty awarded, was cancelled and penalty awarded to the opponent. This is a game, but some crash into eternity because of it, with many questions to be answered. How much is eternity? Was football, was football their, their God? Hmm. What is your passion? On the final day, Nigeria Super Eagles could not fly, but were like eagles under spell with the wings broken and suffering a well-deserved divine defeat. Apart from the boys not coming to party that day, how will heaven feel if Nigeria had won and there was jubilation and celebration for what? With the state of misgovernance and anarchy, bloodshed everywhere, hunger and starvation, God have mercy. Darkness has overtaken Nigeria and the worst of the worst will soon happen. If care is not taken, Nigerians can continue to deceive themselves if they like. Slaves that cannot fight for their rights, churches for their rights, churches on every street practicing Christianity without Christ, with ungodliness as the proof. Where corruption is worshipped both in the church, mosque, and government, judgment is coming. And there will be no escape except through repentance now. A country and continent where people steal the money they don't even need cannot survive. Praying without activating repentance is stupidity of the highest level. Your geo, Adeboye, pray, pray, pray. Since he's been praying for 40 years, what have you, what have you achieved, all of you? Only the billionaires that, is, that have access to money, opportunity to steal, those are the ones he made the billionaires. And they are sharing the money. He goes to all the, uh, he goes to Aso Rock to see the president. He moves everywhere. He did everything. He built Nigerians and the whole world and, and the Christianity on lies, deception, corruption. He has turned the whole Nigerians, oh, the church, to the enemy of God. Turn everybody to be in opposition to the God Almighty. And to be worshipping him alone. And all other pastors, they all fall, follow suit. And see, and see what is happening now. Look at the state of Nigeria. No godliness anywhere. The way they talk, you can't even believe that these are Christians. This one that call themselves Christ-like. Let's read them. How much is eternity to you? Until Christ-likeness. Not religion becomes the focus of the church. Anyone, nation, and what have you, forget it. When you hear that Jesus is coming back soon, in your ignorance, you will say, we have been hearing it all these years. I know CK said that. He said, Christ is not coming. He said, Jesus is a liar. He said, Jesus is powerless. He said, that everything he said is in his word. Has it come to pass? I know CK said, Jesus has been saying all these things for 100 years. Has it come to pass? And people will applaud him. People will clap for I know CK. These are antichrists. These are false prophets on our puppets. And when you talk, there are people who say, We love him. We love the bond servants. We love Anasike. You, you are loving your doom. Let's read them. These people that crash into eternity, whether they have been hearing it, of course, they are hearing it. 
whether they have been hearing it or not. We've been showing them, crying, all the evil that Adeboye was doing. They ignore it. Two Sundays ago, he was with Adeboye. They were clapping, jumping together, hugging themselves together. They were hearing it, but they choose to ignore the voice of warning that was coming from the Almighty God. Hearing it or not, their own, capture, their own rapture has occurred. It came like a thief in the night. Mr. President, whether you are elected or imposed on, on Nigerians by INEC, you and your generation will see hell. If you don't take time, I weep from above. A whip from above is coming on many Nigeria corrupt and wicked politicians from the Almighty God. God is still God and can never be taken for granted. People are dying everywhere, every day. The suffering is out of hand. Why you are busy raping, raping the nation? God, we have to apologize. God. We have to apologize to the devil, which cannot happen if you go free. Dear leader, give your life to Jesus Christ and repent, dear listener of Tony Oribo. Give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ and repent from your sins. He alone is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no glory without genuine repentance. Be Christ-like. Adeboye could not save the Wigwe family. Oye Depo could not save is the the billionaire in the church. One of them just fell down in his bathroom, and that was it. He was gone. Another one fell down somewhere. That's how all these billionaires that is running after these pastors are dying, like 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 like, like nobody. These people rapture have happened though. All you pastor that is say there, there's no rapture. Some say rapture is coming in 2024, in 2025. Yes, rapture is coming. It's coming. It's coming. If you are thinking uh, the, 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 the one that the, the Bible talks about we come and the, uh, we, we, we come, it, it, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And it's written in the video as in the video. When I saw this, I said, eh, eh. we thought the videos have, have gotten, I got the video of... Um, Papa George, but they judge, he made a, a allegation as well. And uh, Wigwe hosted uh, these uh, two people, Aligo Dangote and Femi Otedola in his house. And he did not know, <laughs> he did not know that he has set himself up for a big donation. So that's it, oh. I didn't, you didn't see anything. Oh. My father said, my daddy said, oh. they said I should not touch the anointing. I didn't, your anointing is a corrupt anointing. If you, if you benefit anything from all any of these pastors, you put in your life and your fast and your families in danger. Know Christ yourself. Be Christ-like. That's my message. I see you on my next video. Bye for now.